Hi, this is Ron Herman back with Frequently Asked Questions. Today we're going to go over the, uh, the frame saw. Uh, frame saw is a saw that uh, has a frame that pulls tension onto the blade, unlike a regular hand saw, which is a frameless saw. The tension is actually hammered and, and the blade is stretched to the teeth. Or a coping saw, which is actually a bow saw, where the, the metal provides the tension for the blade. We're going to look at a, a saw that uses wood frame in order to drive the tension. Uh, this is a standard frame saw. Uh, it's got upper limbs on the crossbar. This key here is a tensioning key. And this actually has two different grips. It's got a longer grip that uh, you can use single handed or you can either grab it with both or some guys will actually hold the frame like a hacksaw. Uh, but the, the key to this saw, is ideally the key here, this is a tapered key that allows it to be slid up and down with, within, its, uh, within the cords here. And by turning this, and you'll see that there's a notch cut into the end of this so that it stops the movement of this key and, and the string here. But all I have to do is give it a good hearty turn, and it provides quite a bit of tension on that. And then I'll lock it in. You'll pull up and push down, and it locks it in place. And you can hear that it's put quite a bit of tension on this. Now, as these limbs are brought together and these are pulled out, um, the... Uh, the saw will hold its tension as long as these limbs do not bend. We do not want to leave this saw tension for any length of time. I prefer at the end of a day or even before I go to lunch, I will sit here and I'll take at least one or two turns off of this saw to relieve the tension off the wood so I'm not bending the wood. Um, you don't have to do that with a coping saw or bow saws and stuff, but in frame saws you want to keep the tension off. Now this saw was designed to be tore down. This limb here that goes into the uprights is the mortise and tenon fit, but it is not glued. Uh, it's designed that I can take the tension off this, remove the key, remove the pin out here, take the blade off, take this limb off, and everything folds nice and flat, and it can go into a toolbox. But for most people in our shops, they leave it together. You know, so the biggest thing is do not leave the tension onto it, just enough to hold the key in place. You know, as you can see, I got got this loose, and the blade will move this much, uh, but it's not enough to let the saw fall apart. 